There's a lot of uncertainty. Given his response yesterday on the floor of parliament, Mr. O'Neill said the 2023 national budget is a big one in terms of revenue, expenditure, deficit and loans. O'Neill said certain statements made by the treasurer on the budget are misleading. Plenty of sour man, only talk business. IMF, World Bank, ADB, OSAID, all plenty all development partners, all sour man, all big black, big black accounting firm. Only talk about some global economy. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty over the next two or three years. Driven by the fact that uh, plenty of Birwa is an up the world where and by affecting some of the assumptions you may walk him or frame him this budget. So, government money talk about them, treasury talk about them, economy, but continue to grow. With all this uncertainty, is really misleading, Mr. Speaker. It is not correct because many economies around the world are saying that they are expecting some form of recession. Meaning, most of economy will be go back up like But lower side, believe me, you mean talk, but you mean it's go strong yet? Our economy will continue to grow. Mr. O'Neill explained that many central banks around the world are intervening by increasing interest rates, bracing for the global recession. O'Neill highlighted some issues faced by Papua New Guineans since the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, this is this year and the last year, and the year before when COVID was in, in our country, unemployment is at unemployment is at record levels, Mr. Speaker. At record levels. But minimum wages is still at its lowest. There are a lot of families out there who are hurting, Mr. Speaker. Today, interest rates in our country remain high. Mr. O'Neill made these comments on the handing down of the 2023 budget on Tuesday by Treasurer Ian Linkstaki. The money plan for next year totals a whooping 24 billion kina. This is an increase of 12 million kina from this year's budget with a deficit of 4.9 billion kina. Lindy Suharupa, National MTV News.